Alright, so over the past few days, uh, me and some friends, we built together this uh, Raspberry Pi application. Um, and what it is, it's called Snowflake. And the idea is that it would have a camera attached to it. And then uh, in the finished product, uh, this is a prototype. In the finished product, it would be mounted on, like, integrated into the top of your uh, refrigerator. So that whenever you open your fridge like this, it will trigger a motion detector using the camera. And then the camera will start recording, like, what you put inside the fridge and what you take out of the fridge. And that way, it will be able to maintain a virtual fridge inventory. And so it sends all these, like, transactions to the server. And then the server, like you can see here, we made a basic uh, prototype of a website. You can make an account, and then with the account, uh, you'll be able to see a list of th foods you currently have in your fridge, the expiration, uh, estimation of the expiration dates, and like nutritional facts. Um, and then it'll be able to recommend you recipes based on that. And you can even put in like dietary restrictions and other preferences like that. Um, so it's quite useful. Like, all right, so let's get on with the demo. So Javier, would you like to make an account? Yes, please. All right, what's your name? Jay. Oh, I know what your name. <laughs> Javier C. Fuentes. All right, uh, Jay C. Fuentes. Uh, jcfuent at email.com oh, no, okay. uh, Alright, your password will be a lomao Good Hopefully this is a strong enough password Alright, so currently you don't have anything in your fridge mm. Which is quite sad So let's put something in your fridge Shall we? Alright, so it starts the thing And then the camera will warm up on the left side, or at the right side, <laughs> this is the camera. It's detecting motion, so it's some, my foot just triggered it. And then um, it will like re record the things and send it to the server. This is left side is the server. And then, um, all right, so basically, I'm going to see if it will recognize this orange. And I'll try to put this orange into the uh, fridge. So as it is a Raspberry Pi, the... Uh, the lighting isn't very good because it's not a, like an actual camera. So what we have is like this uh, phone providing some extra lighting to help to help it like uh, recognize the images that it provides. Um, sorry. All right, so you can see there it's like doing some image processing using the convolutional neural network, and it's, um, it's not picking up the orange. Let's try it again. Alright, so I just put another orange underneath it. Um, hypothetically, oh, there we go. Alright, well, <laughs> orange was one of the uh, items it recognized, but it wasn't at a high enough confidence level, so it couldn't say that it was actually an orange. So I'm gonna put this uh, root beer, see if this root beer works, and alright, uh, that should recognize it. <laughs> All right, so basically it only starts processing. Oh, wait, so it put, it recognized beer. This is good. Because root beer bottles kind of look like beer. Um, to the Raspberry Pi, which is a basic basic computer, there's really no difference, so it's cut it some slack. <laughs> right here, um, it shows up, see, in, the, uh, uh, in your inventory. And you can click Find Recipes. Um, let's, all right, <laughs> so here are the recipes that contain beer. And then you can like view a recipe, etc. All right, so let's try putting another thing underneath it. Um, okay. uh, let's try this apple. For some reason, it thinks that apples look like pomegranates. And like, it most likely will oh, <laughs> I thought it was dough. <laughs> let's try it again. <laughs> All right, so it only begin processing. Oh, right. so yeah, I saw a pomegranate, and which is it's not a bad comparison. I mean, to be honest, like what's the difference between apples and pomegranates? Like, it's basically the same thing. But so the idea is that you all have these virtual inventories in your fridge, right? And then um, you can click on find recipes. So oh, apparently with beer, dough, and pomegranate, you can make this la majun pizza. Sounds bougie, pretty. It's pretty bougie to me. So, uh, so yeah, that's the demo, Javier. Thanks Sounds for cool. Yeah, thanks for listening.